Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you from Reading Town. Let's take a look at today's article. The title of today's article is South African Cheese Festival. So South African, meaning it's, takes, it's taking place in South or Southern Africa, where it's very beautiful, I've heard. And they're having a festival, and this festival is focused on cheese. So let's take a look at today's article. So it says, cheese is one of the most frequently consumed dairy products across the globe. So dairy is something to do with milk, right? So anything that uh, comes from cows, uh, we use the word dairy. So cheese is one of the main uh, cow products, right? That's made with milk. So it is one of the most frequently. Frequent means uh, you see it very often or very commonly, again and again. So consumed is when you eat it or drink it. So it's one of the most commonly or most oftenly eaten dairy product across the world, right? All over the world. It can be consumed in a variety of ways, including cheese pizza, cheese cake, cheeseburgers, or even sliced and served on its own. So there's many ways that we can eat cheese. You can have it for dessert as a cheesecake or put it in your food like pizza or uh, cheeseburgers. And even uh, in parties, you can see that cheese is just eaten by itself, sometimes with cracker or with other uh, sausages. So we can eat cheese in many different ways. We can consume it. Cheese is highly nutritious, so it has a lot of nutrients and contains various nutrients like calcium needed for strong bones and protein needed for muscle growth and maintenance. So cheese has a lot of health benefits. It's good for our bodies in many different ways. It contains a lot of things that our body needs, which are nutrients, energy, and uh, for example, one of them is calcium. Calcium is a nutrient that helps strengthen our bones and our teeth. Also, uh, protein. Protein in Korean is 단백질, and we need that to make our muscles strong. And also, if you exercise a lot, protein is what helps your muscles uh, get healthier as well as get larger. So, uh, it has a lot of different health benefits inside of cheese, so it's good for our bodies. As a result, a lot of cheese festivals have been taking place around the world in nations like Canada, Japan, Switzerland, Spain, and the United States. So because cheese is getting more and more popular, we're seeing more festivals all over the world. So places like Japan, right, very close to Korea, is having these festivals focused on uh, this very popular food. Next paragraph, it says, one of the most prominent cheese festivals the South African Cheese Festival will be held in uh, Sandringham uh, from April 28th to April 30th. So uh, in South Africa, in one of their cities, uh, Sandringham, uh, they will be having this festival uh, using the cheese as the main attraction. And prominent means one of the well-known, right? One of the most popular uh, or famous. So this is one of the most famous festivals and you can find it in uh, South Africa, in the city of Sandringham. Uh, over the past few years, the cheese industry has developed and expanded dramatically in South Africa. So in the past couple of years, right, the business of cheese, the cheese industry, has developed and expanded, so it's gotten much bigger, dramatically. Dramatically means in great numbers, you can see it. So before, there wasn't that much interest, but now it's everywhere. People are really excited about it, so that's a dramatic change, right? So it's a great change in South Africa. As an interest in cheese has mounted, the festival has attracted a great number of visitors since its start in 2002. So when did they start this festival? Way back in 2002. But now, uh, interest has mounted, meaning it has gotten greater and greater, right? It has gotten bigger. So that's why more and more visitors have come ever since the start, which was in 2002. Visitors will be able to meet and taste a wide variety of high quality cheeses as well as superb wines, exotic drinks, indigenous teas, and fresh fruits. So if you go there to this festival, you're not just only going to have cheese, but you can try many different foods or drinks that goes with the cheese. So for example, you can be uh, able to taste a large variety of cheese. So not just any cheese, but quality cheese, very kogupsuroon, uh, right? Very high quality cheese, many different kinds. And superb wine, superb is another adjective 
for great, right, or wonderful. So great wines, exotic drinks. Exotic drinks are kind of like the, the strange, but it's very uh, unusual, right? That's exotic drinks. Indigenous teas. Indigenous means it's something that you can only find in that place. So teas uh, that you can only find in South Africa. That's where you can also have at the festival and fresh fruits. So many different fruits that are just been recently picked and cut you can also have them within cheese. So if you enjoy cheese, I guess this is the place to go. Um, I've been hearing many good things about South Africa, how beautiful it is, and I love cheese, so maybe one day I'll have to go visit this place. So the Afri South African Cheese Festival, it's going on uh, in that city, and you can try many different cheese, such as the ones in the picture. Uh, what nutrients is needed for muscle growth and maintenance? We said that some cheese uh, is good for your teeth and your bones, but other cheese, right, uh, the other nutrients found in the cheese is also good for your muscles. And what is that nutrient called? That is protein. We can find protein in a lot of meats as well as fish, but we can also find them in cheese. It's good for our muscles. Uh, the next question, when will the South African Cheese Festival take place? So we said that it's taking place uh, right now from April 28th to the 30th. Well, it's coming up actually. So it's only for a, a weekend, right? So it's not very long, but you can go and check it out during this time, April 28th to April 30th. So what year did it start? We talked about it. The very first festival was over 10 years ago and it was in the year 2002. So it's gotten much bigger since the start, which was 2002. Let's fill in the blanks as we finish our comprehension part. So it says cheese is one of the most frequently consumed what across the globe. So we know that cheese is not a drink. Uh, it's a type of food. So uh, frequently consumed, frequently means uh, very commonly and consumed is eaten. So it's the most commonly eaten dairy product, right? So when we said dairy is uh, something that's made with milk coming from the cow. So it's one of the most popular products. Uh, cheese industry. The cheese industry has developed an expanded blank in South Africa. So they've developed, they've made it much better and expanded. You can see it uh, much more. And what did they do? Expanded dramatically in South Africa, meaning that in great ways you can see it, you can notice it. So in 2002 it was very small, but now it's, it's, very, uh, it's very developed. Uh, the last question, visitors will be able to meet and taste a wide variety of what? Cheeses. So we said that in South Africa, there's many different kinds of cheeses, not just the one type or two types, but there's high quality cheeses. You can get many different kinds and they're very, very, very high quality. Uh, so you can go to South Africa and see beautiful nature, go on a safari, but you can also, if you're a cheese lover like me, you can go and taste the different cheese at the festival. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's article and now I'm more hungry for cheese. I hope you enjoyed today's article and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.